Hi everyone, welcome to Micah's TV. Today I will share a tutorial on how to make a custom printed lanyard. First of all, prepare the materials and equipment needed. Metal clips. Safety breakaway clip. This breakaway clip is optional. Its function is so that the lanyard attached to the metal clip can be removed. If we don't use a breakaway clip, the lanyard will be connected directly to this clip. Polyester webbing. This one comes in a roll. This material that I use is 2 cm wide, but it is also available in 1 cm and 1.5 cm. 21 cm wide, sublimation paper. This paper also comes in a roll. Heat resistant tape. Epson printer with sublimation ink. A computer with Photoshop software. Lanyard press machine. This machine measures 27 cm by 102 cm. First, cut off your sublimation paper at about 115 cm. Now open your Photoshop. We will print a lanyard with this design. You can download this template we are using from the link in the description below. The template shows that this lanyard does not use a breakaway clip. But the lanyard we are going to make today will use a breakaway clip. So this lanyard will connect to a breakaway clip before connecting to the metal clip. A 21 cm wide sublimation paper can fit up to four lines of the design you want to print. Keep in mind that the lanyards that we will print are two-sided. So this four-line design is only for two lanyards. This paper is 115 cm in length. Before starting the printing process, please make sure the image to be printed is mirrored. So, select File. Print. Print Settings. Go to More Options. Make sure this Mirror Image option is checked. For print quality, make sure to choose high quality or photo quality. This is the printout. Make sure the printout is mirrored. Also, make sure the printouts are perfect and there are no ink smudges. Next, we cut the paper that has been printed. We stick the paper on the floor with duct tape, so the paper doesn't move. Position the lanyard in the center of the image. Attach the lanyard to the paper with heat-resistant tape.
Repeat the sticking process for the other lanyard. Turn on your heat press machine. Set a temperature of 180 degrees and a time of 100 seconds. Allow the machine to warm up first. Lay out the blank paper like this. This is to ensure that the sublimation ink does not contaminate the machine. Place the lanyard that has been stuck onto the paper on top of the machine. Make sure the paper side is facing up. Cover the lanyards with papers. Then cover it again with Teflon sheets. Press the lanyard for 100 seconds.
stick the other side of the lanyard to the printout.
Ok, now we will attach a breakaway clip to the short side of the lanyard. Insert the metal clip, then fold the lanyard like this. Then we make a hole in the folds with a soldering iron. The back side can be soldered again. After that, we attach the eyelets. Enter the long screw first. Then close it with its cover. To lock it, we use this knocking tool. You can also use an eyelet press machine. Next, we will attach a safety breakaway clip to the long section of the lanyard. First, we fold the lanyard like this. The reason we do this is to make sure that the position of the lanyard is facing the correct side. Insert one end of the lanyard into the breakaway clip. The end of this lanyard is then folded into two. Then we pierce it with a soldering iron. Then tuck the other end of the lanyard, so that it is in the middle, between the fold and the other side of the lanyard. Then we pierce it again like before. Insert the long screw from the back. Install the screw cover on the other side. You can also use the eyelet press machine for easy installation. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you later.